The academic and author Naomi Klein made her name with her criticisms of globalization and capitalism and joins us now from New Jersey. Uh, Naomi Klein, thanks very much for joining us. What are the chances, do you think, that the pandemic will lead to fundamental change? Well, I think it, it is already changing us. Um, Arundhati Roy described the pandemic as a portal, and I think that's, that's a helpful image. We are not going back to where we were before this started. We are going somewhere new. This is an unprecedented crisis. That new place could be a lot worse than where we started. It could be a lot um, more unequal. It could have less regulation for polluters, for food safety. We're seeing all of what I've described as the shock doctrine in the past, using the crisis to sort of fulfill a, a wish list um, for already very wealthy corporations. Um, but we are also seeing some opportunities where people are saying, wait a minute, um, I like having less traffic. Um, maybe as we uh, open up our economies, we can save more of our cities for pedestrians, um, for public transit, for cyclists. And Milan actually just today uh, announced uh, or unveiled uh, some of their roadways that now uh, um, allocate a lot more space to pedestrians and cyclists. Um, we don't have to, fail, to bail out uh, failing airlines and fossil fuel companies, or if we do, um, we can take control over them and say, this pandemic isn't the only crisis we face. We also face the crisis of climate breakdown and we can't afford to go back to the way things were. We need a transformation. We need green energy. We need to keep fossil fuels in the ground. So I think there are but that's all very well, but you, that we could go well, down. But at the same time, we are living with Trump, Modi, Putin, Bolsonaro, implacable opponents of climate change. And one can see all this slipping back to the bad old times. Or getting worse, as I said before, um, because I think all of those figures have failed miserably to control control the pandemic. Um, they responded, certainly in the case of Bolsonaro and Trump, um, with outright denial. Um, they thought they could bully the virus out of existence. And you know, when men like this fail, they of course have to deflect attention. And the way that is usually done, the playbook is to um, is to move the blame onto the vulnerable. And so I think we can absolutely expect more xenophobia um, in the United States. The fact that the pandemic um, is impacting African-Americans more because of pre-existing injustices and inequalities, because um, of, of uh, health crises within those communities that actually are intimately connected with, with the fact that these are the communities that have the most air pollution, which make lungs more vulnerable to the virus. Now we're seeing a very racialized split, right, where there are the rallies demanding a reopening of hair salons um, are overwhelmingly uh, populated by white people. And it is cities like Detroit, um, Flint, uh, New York City, uh, parts of New York City that are overwhelmingly black and Latino that are being hardest hit. Um, so basically, we're seeing a lot of you know, middle class white people ordering black people back to work and to take greater risks. So it's getting pretty ugly already. It is an election. Naomi Klein, thank you so much for talking with us.